Hi, it's Matt Young here. I'm an acting tutor in Fiji, and I also have clients, well, around the world, in Australia, New Zealand, and LA sometimes um, when I'm over there. But um, I really wanted to talk to my Fiji acting students today, um, although this applies to everybody, so give a listen. So I went to an audition today, and the most extraordinary thing happened. Nobody was ready to actually audition for a part. So a bunch of people showed up who said that they want to be actors, but nobody was ready to audition for a part. So the director asked people to do things. We had to improvise, which is kind of hard. You should be expected, for, especially for independent features or for things that don't have a big budget, that you're going to be asked to audition anywhere. It could be a McDonald's, it could be in a Starbucks, it could be just about anywhere. And you're just going to have to deliver the goods. Regardless of whether you feel comfortable or whether your environment you like, you just have to sort of do it, right? So we were given these scenes to improvise, and people were like, oh... And then he said, action, and they went, uh, 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 and we had to be all sorts of different things. So we had to be, you know, like a police commissioner. We had to be, you know, uh, like a flamboyant guy on the street who, like gay guy on the street that got knocked down. And one of the girls, you know, had to be a beauty queen. And the thing is, you need to be, at a, you need to be ready to just fake it and just do it. <laughs> so if he wants a police commissioner, you put on your police commissioner look and you use that voice that sounds like a police commissioner. If you need to be that flamboyant gay guy, you go, girl, let me tell you, and you get in there, right? If you need to be the beauty queen, <laughs> you just have to do it. I mean, that's really what the director is looking for. And it was for TV. And this guy is like, I need somebody who's going to be able to deliver, like, at the moment, any moment. So it's really, really important for you, if you want to be an actor, to practice your auditions. It's a really easy thing. You can do it with your friends. You can do it with an acting tutor like me as well. And the other thing that you need to know is if you want to be an actor, you need to learn a monologue. So the director did some improvs and then he said, all right, so does anybody else have a monologue they want to show me? And all these actors went, mm, no. Uh, that's like a painter is, oh, you want to sell me a painting? You know, and you want to sell it for $10,000? Okay, great. Can I see your last painting? Oh, I actually haven't done a painting before. I'll tell you what, monologues are, you know, they're a little bit tricky, but they're not that hard. It's just memorizing a sequence of words. Go to my Facebook page, Tukuna, T-U-K-U-N-A, Acting Club. Go into the notes section, and there are a bunch of monologues for both men and women um, in the notes section. So have one of those, look, look at it, memorize it, speak with it how it feels in your heart. And um, if you want to go online and do sessions with me, I can coach you on it. But it's really important that you have a monologue. So when you show up to an audition, you are ready to be whatever they need you to be at that moment. And fake it and go for it. Because then, even if you have the worst audition in your life, the director will see something in you that, that he or she wants. There's something about you that he or she is going to want. But if you give them nothing, they're not going to get anything, right? So go in there, do your best, and if it's the worst audition of your life, the worst thing that can happen is you can chalk it up to experience and you can be ready for your next one. Practice, practice, practice. That's my advice for today. Thanks.